Hello, can anyone hear us on the stream? Test, test. Uh, Radovan or Dana, can you say something? Saying something, hopefully my audio is fine. Please okay. let us know. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, it's looking good. Okay, yeah, and people on the chat say, yes, it's fine. So welcome, we're still getting ready here. Um, it will be a few minutes before, well, we start the real program exactly at the hour, but we are doing the initial preparation. Is our audio balanced, by the way? So do I, Radovan, and Diana sound roughly similar? Testing again, are we on the same volume? Hopefully. Okay, good people report, it sounds good. So yeah, welcome to the workshop in the stream. I wonder how many of you have attended live stream workshops before. It's a really cool idea we've got because, I don't know, it sort of came from the all going online thing. So when everyone had to start doing things online, the first idea was, oh, okay, we have to make sure to hide our Zoom links as well as possible because someone might do something bad. But really, why can't we make our things open and somehow provide this extra thing for the in-person people? Well, anyway, um, it is what it is, and this is our attempt at a solution for it. If you're here and you're also in the learner and exercise leader Zoom, it's this really cool idea we've got. So basically what will happen is we have the lecturing here where it can be recorded safely with no privacy concerns or anything. And then during the exercise times, then people can work on the exercises however they'd like. So there can be, say, in-person meetings like we have in, uh, in Finland, or there can be Zoom meetings where you're working on the exercises together in teams. This is actually the first really big code refinery workshop where we've done this live stream and with these other workshops. So let's see how it goes. Maybe we can already start with the icebreaker. So if you are in, if you registered for the workshop, you should have a HackMD link, which should look like, oh no, not that. Okay, let me adjust the window. OBS will often, oh. okay, just a minute. Well, maybe I can show already. So this is what the edit mode HackMD looks like. And if you go to the top, you can switch between the different modes here. And mm, why can I not scroll? OK, well. So sometimes it's the same thing, then I need to reload the page, and then I can scroll. OK. So Radovan or Diana, can you explain HackMD while I fix something here? Explain in voice or in share? Uh, either one. Voice is good. I'm about to go reshare it. OK. So HackMD is a, <clears throat> is a collaborative document, which we, everybody who has the link can edit. It's a bit like, uh, like Google Docs, if you have used it. Um, and then, so on top, you can switch between uh, edit view and mixed um, uh, mixed edit view mode. And we will use this document to share links, resources, but also to collect questions. So he will be able to ask questions. He will answer questions. Um, we really like it a lot because we can ask questions in parallel. It's not like a Zoom chat where one message has to come after another. And to get used to it a little bit, we will show it 
more again when we start officially uh, we uh, have an icebreaker question and the icebreaker question that we have here is what is your preferred programming language and what do you like most about it and to edit uh, you can click on top left or top right the edit button the pen button and i will already write something also there it can also be two languages and then also write down why what do you like most about it yeah there we go so we see our mass communication here so many people can talk at once and yeah this is basically how we found you run a giant workshop and let everyone talk at the same time and it will be a bit chaotic at times we might get into the situation that this thing gets a little bit sluggish but we will deal with it so we have uh, yeah. we will watch this we will answer here <clears throat> and this is yeah. really a way to involve many people at the same time also to be able to then answer questions to give several answers to the same question and yes. at the end of the workshop we will also make this uh, hack and d document available because these questions and the answers are very interesting and very useful on their own yeah so um, so also we do polls by HackMD. So if you notice up here, there is this yes and no. So if you go there, if you have attended a live stream workshop before, put an extra O next to yes. And if you have not, then do no. Isn't this so cool? I mean, you might think, okay, this is not the right tool for the job, but actually it works pretty well and is pretty versatile. So in the meantime, if you go down, you notice there's this, uh, any other questions here. So if you have any other questions, you can go ahead and start um asking there and we can discuss them so for the people who registered this morning i realized that they don't have the hack and link because i just simply, simply didn't have time mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. follow up on that hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess there's a point to registering early. Yeah, so what I will do for those who registered this morning, I will send it later today. Anyway, everything here we will make available. Yeah. Those who watch and haven't registered, that's okay because anybody can watch. It will be still nice for us if you register because at some point our funding bodies will ask us how many people have participated and then then it's easier for me to give a number so please do register even even though you don't have to you will then also get the hack and d link and uh, email communication yeah so um and sometimes hack and d can sort of get some sort of well bugs here when there's too much editing like we see here and just ignore that it will get better eventually sometimes refreshing works and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a short time but okay it's 10 o'clock how about we get to the main point now so i'm 